good morning dear students so we carry on the reading part in the chapter silk road in 11th standard so yesterday we read that uh, the narrator with his friend daniel and the driver shitan they started their journey from rao to kailash mount kailash on the way they observed certain thing like valley plain area mountains the zigzag road stony ways you can say okay and flocks of sheep tipped in mastiff the strong dogs and certain belief associated with them and lastly yesterday we ended on the point where the driver sit and face the problem because of snow the path the road became so slippery and he collected some dust and spread out on the road meanwhile uh, daniel and the narrator means the narrator of the chapter came down from the car so that there will be less load means there will be less burden in the can say car but anyhow sitan managed and with the with one go or with one strike he came out of the problem and the car was now on the smooth road the slippery was the slippery road was taken over now we start a swath of the white stuff swath means large area of white stuff because it was all the mountains they were covered with ice so it was pure white stuff across the track in front of us means before the team it means team means three people narrator daniel and chitan they they were able to see only white stuff stretching for maybe 15 meter before it petered out and the dirt trail reappeared means 15 meter that was the uh, distance of slippery mud slippery road the snow continued on either side on both the side there was snow soothing the abrupt bank of the unslope side means this snow was not soothing the bank of the road the bank was too steep for our vehicle to scale means the curb okay the round of the road was very steep was very fast and the car could not take turn in that particular road and with the high speed so there was no way around there was no round the snow patch there was nothing i joined daniel as sitan stepped on to the uncrusted snow and began to slither and slide forward means narrator daniel and sitan three of them they joined together and they started their car and they began to move very slowly on the slippery road stamping his foot from time to time to ascertain how sturdy it was now first of all narrator started to check how strong this particular snow is or ice is so he checked that road from his foot by crushing it hardly so that the car or the vehicle would not face any problem so i looked at my wrist watch so he checked the time and the altitude we were at 5210 meters above sea level okay they have covered 5210 meters altitude in this particular area the snow didn't look too deep to me that layer of the snow was not so deep but the danger was not its depth means there was danger but not it was in the depth daniel said so much as its high sea top layer if we slip off if they fell down on the snow ice the car would turn over definitely there will they will meet an accident and the car will turn over because it was so risky 
he suggested as we saw sit and grab the car uh, grab handful of dirt and fling them across the frozen surface then what did stan uh, sit and do he collected some dirt and spread it over the frozen surface of the road so that the tire of the vehicle they would make a, a strong grip to move ahead we both pitched in and when the snow was spread over with soil daniel and i stayed out of the vehicle to lighten sit and load what happens after spreading dirt on the road by sit and narrator and his friend daniel they remain outside of the car so that sit and would feel less load in the car and car would get more speed and more power on the tires to grab the road so that's why he and his friend daniel came out of the car he backed up and drove towards the dirty snow it means sit and draw the car backward and then draw towards the dirty snow is the car on to its icy surface and slowly draw its length without apparent difficulty it means as he back the car as he reverse the car then he started with full force and gradually the car draw the length without apparent difficulty without any difficulty my dear children it means the team was able to cover that slippery road without any big problem and the solution was done by sit and by spreading dirt on the road so in this story this is one of the incident where we can say that this title silk road somehow it's most is the most suitable title to show its value to the route to the mount kailas because it was slippery got it and silk means what slippery so somehow directly or indirectly it matches or it says its depth correctly then 10 minutes later after 10 minutes we stopped at another blockage there was another block is because of snow not good not good means again problem on the way sir sit and announced as he jumped out again to survey the scene so again they faced a problem sit and came out of the car and he observed the situation but again it was a problem this time he decided to try and drive around the snow this time what he uh would do he would not spread out dirt meanwhile he will he decided to drive around the snow round the snow by crushing the snow it means okay then the slope was steep means the flow of the road was very sharp and stud stud mean lot of with major rocks means the problem was rocks on the way but somehow sit and negotiated them ignored them his four wheel drive vehicle lurching okay lurching from one obstacle to the next nursing means covering making sudden effort to go sideway that is called lurching okay it means his car covered one problem and then the next one one dis one disturbance on the road and one blockage on the road then to next in so doing in doing so you can see simply he cut off one of the hairpin band hairpin means sharp band sharp turn on the road regaining the trail further up where the snow had not drifted then drifted means blown into large piles by the wind okay so what he did this time when he faced a blockage on the road sitan did not spread dirt first thing and he did not stop even though with his four vehicle or with his car he crushed all the big pieces by taking 
sharp turn or sharp bend on the road by taking sharp bend on the road and then he also observed that some big pieces they were also piles down on the road by the wind that is called okay drifted means that is called big pieces of snow by the wind i checked my watch again okay as we continue to climb in the bright sunshine now sunshine was there are again the nature and again the nature checked its uh, his uh, watch we crept past see crept crept means moving very slowly like a snake creep a snake creeps so like they uh, moves ahead very slowly and now they reached at 5400 meter earlier they were at 5210 meters so approximately 200 meter they have covered by facing two big problems one of of the slippery road and second one of the blockage because of snow so they reached at uh, 5400 meter and my head began to throb horribly means the narrator got headache i took gulps from my water bottle means he drank water which is supposed to help a rapid ascent ascent means the act of climbing up upward journey so he drank water in gulps okay so that it would help him to cover this headache as well as climbing up in the mountain climbing up the mountain we finally reached the top of the pass at 5515 meters so we finally they reached at the pass okay it was marked by large cairn of rocks means there were piles you can see lot of rocks were there festooned with full of with full of with white silk scraps white silk scraps okay scraps means long narrow piece of cloth worn round the neck or shoulder like okay these are called scarves scarves silk scarves and ragged prayer flags flags means old and torn old and torn piece of cloth so there is over there we all took a turn around the cairn cairn means piles of rocks in a clockwise direction the method was clockwise as is the tradition and sitan checked the tires on his vehicle the narrator took the round okay of cairn of rocks meanwhile sitan checked the vehicle and its tire he stopped at the petrol tank and partially unscrewed the top which emitted a loud hiss and they stopped at the fuel pump okay he opened the top of the fuel tank and the fuel tank made a noise like loud hiss because of altitude problem with the vehicle it was just like a gas you can say that was in the fuel tank the lower atmospheric pressure was allowing the fuel to expand because the fuel in the tank was expanding because of high altitude geographically we can say that's why it then opened the top or the tank okay it sounded dangerous to me maybe sir sitan laughed but no smoking as he opened the lid of the fuel tank so it was instructed to everybody and especially the narrator no smoking because the fuel can catch the fire easily got it the fuel can catch the fire easily that's why sitan suggested to narrator no need to smoke thereafter my headache soon cleared as we carried down okay my headache was increasing as we carried down means moved down very quickly especially in an uncontrolled way that is called carried down the other side of the pass okay as they were 
uh, coming down now the next thing is they reached at the pass and now they started their journey again so they are coming down somehow some meters now it was 5515 meters so maybe few meters they came down that's why the headache of the narrator got recovered then it was two o'clock by the time it was two o'clock we stopped for lunch so it was the lunch time we ate hot noodles inside a long canvas tent it was like a, a temporary restaurant you can say so on the way they stopped and they took their lunch in a canvas tent especially with the noodles part of a work camp erected beside a dry salt lake so this tent was nearby dry salt salt lake and it was constructed erected means constructed the plateau is pockmarked with salt flat pockmark means covered with okay and salt flat means area of low flat land okay low flat land and brackish lakes west is of the Thetis ocean which bordered Tibet before the great continental collision that lifted it skyward so that particular uh, you can say tent was constructed near the Thetis ocean and with the border with the some kind of vestiges vestiges means uh, garbage you can say simply garbage of something or somebody like uh, with the ocean that comes with the water of the wave okay then this one was a hive of activity this one was a hive of activity means a place full of people who were busy high of means this particular tent or this location was a center of people of coming and going men with pickaxes and saws pickaxes means a large heavy tool that has a curved metal bar and with sharpened fixed at the center of to a wooden okay so this is trudging back and forth in there long sip skin coats and salt and circled boots means people were wearing long coats and salt encrusted boots in this particular area all wore sunglasses against the glare as a steady stream of blue tracks emerged from the blinding white lake laden with piles of salt so these people they were wearing goggles also so that they can protect themselves from the dust and dirt of this uh, particular salt area as well as from the gleams of the white snow due to sun so these were the things they that they observed when they enjoyed the lunch at a carried down and a salt flat like a, a near a salt lake okay so people were wearing all these common things like uh sheep skin coats salt in cascade boots and goggles sunglasses then by late afternoon we had reached the small town of hor now next location is hor okay now we will have description about hor back on the main east way east west highway it was east west highway that followed the old trade old trade means ancient trade way route from lhasa to kashmir this hor had an east west highway that was ancient from lhasa to kashmir daniel who was returning to lhasa found a ride in a truck to sit in a truck so sitan and i bade him farewell so this is the location hor after hor location daniel left their company and he came back to lhasa in a truck and now sitan and later they say goodbye to daniel outside of tire repair shop so tire repair shop was the location or the point where daniel left them and came back to lhasa then we had suffered two punctured now the car got two punctures in quick succession on the drive down from the salt lake when they were covering the salt area salt lake area during that time the tires got punctured and sitan 
was eager to have them fixed since they left him with no spares and there was no spare tires with them that's why he sit and decided to repair them now both the tires so that in future or in coming days he would not get any kind of problem faced by him besides the second tire he had changed had been replaced by one that was so as smooth as my bald head see as smooth as my bald head means the second tire that he changed did not have the design or the covering area of the tire it means it was like purely bald means there was no design no grip on the tire so bald head it had means it means we also came to know that the narrator was also bald headed fine then hor was a grim now description about hor hor was a grim miserable grim means ugly miserable mean unhappy okay unhappy place there was no vegetation and there was no trees and plants whatsoever just dust and rocks only dust and rocks liberally scattered with years of accumulated refuse accumulated means built up collected with the refuse which was unfortunate given that the town sat on the shore of lake mansarovar this hor town is located at the bank of the lake mansarovar and it was very miserable when he grim when any when he very unhappy or very uh, ugly place to look and there is no vegetation tibet's most venerated okay tibet most venerated means respected stretch of water this mansarovar is very you know auspicious place nowadays also mansarovar so near tibet and sit hindu and buddhist cosmology pinpoints mansarovar as the source of four great indian rivers so ancient hindu means in india in sanatan dharm or in hindu mythology this location mansarovar has been called the source of four rivers like the indus the ganges the satluj and the brahmaputra okay mansarovar has been center of four rivers actually one the Sat, uh, only the satluj flows from the lake but reality in reality only satluj flows from this lake but the head waters of the other all rise nearby all the flanks of mount kailas but other three rivers like indus ganges and brahmaputra's water also flows nearby mount kailas we were within striking distance of the great mount kailas now they were means sitan and narrator they were very close to mount kailas and i was eager to force ahead force ahead means move forward and the narrator was very eager to go ahead fine dear children so today we stop here we will continue in next video till then do reading and got it done thank you